Hi, are you a coffee lover like me? Do you want to support our channel whilst having your morning coffee? I got a solution for you. At shop.level10gamers.com you will find a wide selection of cup, coffee cups including this really really cool color changing cup with our logo on it. Isn't that cool? Good evening everybody and welcome to Level 10 Gamers. I'm Morbidos and today I have a short but informative video for you guys on how I synchronize files and also do automatic backups to both my private NAS and also the Level 10 Gamers NAS. Uh, we have a separate one for all our uh, channel related stuff. Uh, doing it manually can be a bit of a drag so I come across a little app that I don't know if everybody knows about that does it automatically and also you can schedule it which is great. If I look like I've been crying uh, it's just because it is pollen season here in Norway and I have pollen allergies and thus I look like I'm crying all the time and I swear I'm not. I swear I'm not. Anyways Let's get to it. Okay, here you can see it. Here's the little program, or an app if you may. It is made by Microsoft. Its current version is 2.1. And the way it works is you set up these folder pairs, they're called. I've set up a folder pair here that is set to the action contribute. Uh, let me see that up for you. Here you go. Here's the definition of what that means. There are three ways that SyncToy works. You can either synchronize a folder pair where new and updated files are copied both ways. Renames and deletes on either side are repeated on the other. And there's echo which is new and updated files are copied left to right. Renames and deletes on the left are repeated on the right. And then there is the last one, which is the one I had chosen for this folder pair. It's called Contribute. New and updated files are copied left to right. Renames on the left are repeated on the right, but no deletions, which is great for a uh, family photo backup thing, uh, which is what I've said. Oh, where'd you go? Come back. There you go. Which is what I've set up here. Uh, this just may basically takes all the pictures that I dump into my camera dump folder on my D drive. Yes, the D. And it puts it to this folder, which is on a network storage device or a network attached storage, which is what NAS stands for. And it just shoves it in there. Uh, right now I can preview it and see that right now there are no folders that needs any actions or I can choose just to run it. Now the way this is set up uh, you can also do some fixings and, uh, and uh, some more advanced options if you may. Anyways, I thought I'd show you how this works. Um, over here you can see my current uh, my computer current setup, I guess it's called, or it's this PC. Uh, I have these two network locations where that I have mapped. Let me just say this before we go ahead. In these days where we have the WannaCry crypto locker and other crypto locker software or viruses or worms or whatever you want to call them that are out there, it is a bit risky to have mapped network drives. Uh, as they can actually get on there as well and lock them. I have all the latest updates for my OS and I have all the latest updates for my antivirus. Uh, so I am somewhat confident that this is okay and I'm going to keep it for now. I did have it disabled for a while while they were figuring out what this was, but for SyncToid work, we need to actually have this. Um, now, as you can see, they have the drive letters Y and Z. 
Now, let's say that I would like the ads folder for my channel, for our channel, to be synchronized because we have a NAS set up. This one, Level 10 Gamers, NAS. Uh, we have this set up so that I can um, access it and Zangio can access it and Dunphy can access it. And we have a couple of common folders that we uh, share, like the folders that contain all the ads that we make ourselves. And this is quite nice to have updated. Uh, so let's create a new folder pair. Browse, and I would like the folder called Ad Spots to be synchronized. Uh, but I'm going to have to choose this one and say OK. Now, I'd like that to be synchronized with a local folder current projects and it's called ads now I know for a fact that the files are already there but it's in a different folder structure so I actually moved this around so I could show you uh, so let's go ahead and go to next and we're going to choose uh, synchronize so that in any case uh, if I make a new ad spot, it'll be synchronized to the other guys and also uh, the other way. So if they make something new, it'll be synchronized to my folder. To avoid deleting something someone else uses, we have a general rule that we don't delete things in there unless we agree upon it. So don't worry, I'm not worried about uh, any of the guys deleting something and getting synchronized to mine and also me losing it. So let's set it to synchronize and also we're going to call this ads I'm going to go finish now let's preview it as you can see there are one folder that needs to be created and a lot of files that needs to be moved I already have these files but as I said in a different folder structure but let's go ahead and click run and you can see it's going rather quickly and uh, well, we'll skip to when this is done. And there we have it. It's now finished. It says here, everything was successful, zero fails, and of course, totals. So go ahead and close this. Now, having to go into Sync Toy and clicking run is a bit tedious. Yes, it is. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and open the start menu and search for task scheduler and it comes up like this this is a built-in features to windows so uh, you should have it if you don't then something must happen to yours I don't know what uh, let's create a basic task start there and we're going to call this uh, let's call it sync ads or just sync and we'll run everything on one head over to trigger we're going to do this daily and we want this let's say three o'clock at night here you go I'm on a 24 hour uh, time format if you're wondering why there is no AM PM function and the action will be to start a program and the program is located on your OS disk program files sync toy and the version you are running which is currently 2.1 as you see and it's called sync toy cmd.exe so click on that and click open and in this add arguments optional we're going to add dash r and click finish. Here we go, there's a summary of what we've set up and click finish. Now that we have that all set up, at three o'clock every night, sync toy command line version will start and run through all our pairs because I only specified dash R. If you want it to only run 
one specific pull repair after dash r and you leave a space and then you write the folder name and it should only run that one as long as you are exact on the name it is case sensitive and um, yeah so it's case sensitive and that is how you set up SyncToy to synchronize your folders also as I showed you you can set it on a schedule or you can go in and manually do it when you feel the need if you don't update your folders as often now remember what I said about the crypto lockers they can get on your network storage as well and lock that down so install all your OS updates and install all your antivirus updates they're very important if you know of any software that can do the same but better please consider leaving it in the comment section below so that we can check it out and we might actually do a video on that software as well